A former bad boy rapper once referred to as Sean Diddy Combs' protege is speaking out about an infamous nightclub shooting involving him and the now embattled mega producer that landed him in prison for nearly a decade. Former rapper turned politician Moses Jamal Brown, better known as Shine, is coming forward again to maintain his innocence, saying he's 100 percent the fall guy for the infamous 1999 New York City club shooting involving him, Diddy. Welcome to The Realm, where today we're diving deep into the wave of celebrity support Support for Sean that he comes amid his most challenging times, amid swirling rumors and a potential indictment. How are Diddy's peers in the entertainment industry rallying behind him? Over the next minutes, we'll explore the complexity in a play of loyalty, legacy, and the impact of celebrity endorsements in time of controversy. Despite the storm of legal challenges, Diddy remains calm cool and collected, but he's not navigating the storm alone. From musicians to actors, let's see who's standing by him. Stevie J, a renowned record producer and a close friend of Sean Diddy Combs, has been vocal in his support during Diddy's recent legal challenges. He was present at Diddy's residence during one of the federal raids, witnessing firsthand the scrutiny that Diddy is under. Despite the dramatic circumstances, Stevie J has publicly declared Diddy's innocence, staunchly defending his character and legal integrity. In various statements and interviews following the raid, CVJ emphasized his unwavering belief in Diddy's character, asserting that the allegations do not align with the man he knows. He points to Diddy's long-standing reputation in the music industry as a leader and innovator, arguing that the accusations are inconsistent with his personal and professional interactions with Diddy over the years. CVJ's defense not only highlights his loyalty to Diddy, but also his confidence that the legal process will ultimately vindicate his friend, reinforcing a team of trust and support among Diddy's closest allies. When the raid went down in Miami, you were, were you on Star Island or were you actually at Diddy's house? I know you were in Miami. I was, I was, uh, I was at his crib working in the studio. I was sitting outside the studio door and I heard a big boom. Turn my head, I'm hearing do, 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 do. Armored vehicles, three big armored vehicles come. Dudes jump out, I got 50 dots on my shirt. Screaming, yo, get on the f ground. I'm like, yo, really? I don't know if you know this, but then maybe they have a take that we don't, we could, we didn't see, because the pictures was a little vague. There was an exotic worker came out and said that was him and not Stevie J. But in order for them to put that in there, they must have clearly thought it was Stevie J or think it's Stevie J. But you got to get this art, check this out. He knew that this kid admired Stevie J and loved the work Stevie J had done in the industry in the past. This kid looked up to Stevie J. Now, what if Puff told him that that was Stevie J in the tape? I'm calling you out. What you want to do? This was good, man. You and your feelings about Daphne? Is she would gang them? Or is it that you sucking little rod? <laughs> However it go, I want you to fade. All that. Since it's entertainment, let me beat the you on TV or something. Don't duck that. I'm calling you out. What you want to do, Curtis? Curtis! Inas has expressed doubts about the allegations based on his personal interactions with Combs. In various interviews, Ness has described the accusations as part of a possible smear campaign, emphasizing that his time with Diddy never hinted at the behaviors described in the lawsuits. He stressed the importance of distinguishing between rumors and proven facts, arguing the public to wait for credible evidence before forming opinions. Inas's defense on Diddy underscores the theme of among some of Diddy's closest collaborators, a call for patience and due process in the face of serious allegations. Inas from Diddy's show, Making the Band, says a person must be selected before they can gain access to Diddy's private parties and reveals that individuals must meet specific criteria, including fitting a certain description, body type, mannerisms, appearance, and mentality. Mm -hmm. He always respected me as a um, lyricist and as a writer. Mm -hmm. And that's what kept me up there from 2002 to 2009. Well, did you at least see any parties or been to his parties? The infamous Diddy parties that everybody talks about? I've been to the parties, but like I said, I, I, I don't know. They select you. You be, you're, you're selected. Be, be, so, be more descriptive. I'm going to be more selective. You yeah. have to fit a, a certain description. Mm -hmm. You have to fit a certain mannerism for you to be led down that hallway with the door. Now moving to Floyd Mayweather. 
Mayweather, the renowned boxing legend, stepped into the discourse surrounding Diddy with a perspective that champions patience and careful judgment. Speaking on the Pivot podcast, Mayweather emphasized the importance of not rushing to conclusions. He shared his viewpoint that everyone makes mistakes and stressed the significance of not kicking someone when they are down. This message reflects Mayweather's broader philosophy that people should be given the benefit of the doubt until all facts are fully explored and verified. Floyd's support for Diddy during this turbulent time sends a powerful message about standing by friends and not abandoning them when they face challenges. His call for a fair assessment resonates with experience in the highly scrutinized world of professional sports, where the rush to judgment can often proceed due to process. Mayweather's voice adds a significant layer to the conversation, reminding fans and the public to consider the complexities of the situation before forming opinions, highlighting the human tendency to pass judgment without a complete understanding of the circumstances. His defense of Diddy is not just about loyalty, but also about advocating for justice and fairness in the face of controversy. Floyd Mayweather speaks on refusing to slander Diddy name after being accused for multiple incidents. Even like P. Diddy, um, I'm not going to speak bad about P. Diddy because um, he's still a black man. He, he, I mean, um, mistakes happen and I can't say if it is or it's not a mistake. But things happen in life, and P. Diddy business is P. Diddy business. It's not my job or anyone else's job to go on the internet and, and stump him and kick a man while he's down. Um, my take on it is it's not my business. Um, I don't think it's right at all, and I don't condone it. Even if that happened to my daughter, I would be hurt. But um, that's the choice that my daughter made. Yeah. So... I don't want to kick nobody while, while they're down. I think the big thing, because I have girls, too, is, though... No boys? It, I have a boy, too. Okay. Is, one, if your son is in that position or your son is accused of those things that Diddy was accused of, like, I'm going to believe in my son and what he says, but I'm going to check him about that. Now let's see G-Dep. G-Dep, a former Bad Boy Records artist recently released from prison, offers a unique perspective on the sexual assault allegations against Sean Diddy Combs. In an interview with Fox 5 New York, G-Dep expressed skepticism about the accusations, reflecting on his own experiences with Diddy, which contrasts with the claims being made. I'm like, when? When did that happen? You know what I mean? He questioned, citing the extensive time they spent together in the studio without witnessing any misconduct. During the interview, g urged the public to reserve judgment until more evidence is available. He highlighted these with which accusations can be made, emphasizing the importance of due process and the presumption of innocence. People should give people the benefit of the doubt, he stated, cautioning against jumping to conclusions based on hearsay. Despite the controversy, g remains open to collaborating with Diddy again, indicating he has numerous songs ready and is eager to reconnect professionally with his former mentor. His willingness to work with Diddy again speaks to his trust in Diddy's leadership and character within the music industry. Yeah, R.I.P. to Black Rob, man. But I want to backtrack to you getting signed a bad boy. How was that like when you first signed with Bad Boy? Like, how was that experience like? Oh, man. It was crazy. <laughs> it was bananas, man. I was that, that had to be the wildest time of my life, man. Honestly, you know what I'm saying? That was that was a wild time, man. We was, you know, we was young. You know what I'm saying? You know, we we, we got a lot of we got a lot of responsibility, you know, bestowed upon us. The deal that you signed with Diddy, was it a good deal? Cause I'm sure you be hearing the same thing that everybody else be hearing. I hear that all the time, man. Yo, I'm saying, man, I'm saying like that was crazy. Son ain't have to do you like that, man. Do me like what? I had a good deal, man. Back then, I'm saying you talking about 1998. Dudes had a lot of perception of what they was hearing. They thought everybody was going through that. You know what I'm saying? But plenty of people had their business correct. I was one of them. I was lawyered up. You know, I didn't just sign anything. We took the time and negotiated the contract. It was a standard contract at first. But we negotiated what we needed. Yo, listen, now nah, let's do this. Nah, we can't have that. All right, how about this? Yeah, we need that. We were straight. When they asked me how to go about maneuvering in the industry, I tell them, you know, make sure you have your lawyer. You know what I mean? You cross your, 
cross your T's and dot your I's, man, and you won't have to worry about future repercussions, man. Uncle Luke, another influential figure in the music industry, has also voiced his thoughts on the allegations against Sean Diddy Combs. In interviews and social media posts, Luke has shown a more nuanced take. While he has expressed skepticism about the accusations, he's cautious about the broader implications and potential fallout. Luke has highlighted the need for a fair and thorough investigation, reflecting on how quick judgments can someone lead to damaging consequences. He's wary of possible smear campaign and has suggested that there could be ulterior motives at play, given Diddy's high-profile status and past conflicts with major industry players. Uncle Luke said, When you get your billions and they put you on a pedestal, that's because they put you up on a pedestal. They made you that guy. They placed you on every network. They sold you all y'all on here. They put you up on a pedestal because they need you. He also said, never buy the hand that feeds you. This is how the major corporations work when you try to come after them. And you see them put you up on a pedestal. That's, that's because they put you up on a pedestal. They made you the guy. They placed you on every network. They sold you to all y'all on here. They gave you 5 million followers. They put all this, they dress you up like a fucking hoe on the street. They gave you the Bugattis. They gave you the mansions on two different coasts. They put you up on a pedestal because they need you. It's like some pimp shit. Moving to Tyrese Gibson, the charismatic actor and R&B singer jumped into the fray with heartfelt support for Diddy amidst the brewing storm of allegations. On Instagram, he posted a now-deleted message that was all about remembering the good times. Tyrese reminisced about the laughter, the fun, the energy, the inspiration of the epic parties and award shows that Diddy threw, which he described as some of the most legendary events he's ever attended. It's Tyrese's way of saying he's got Diddy's back, offering a listening ear if ever needed, truly embodying the ride or die spirit. As these celebrities express their support, we must consider the broader implications. How does celebrity endorsement affect public perception, especially in legal battles? Furthermore, the unfolding situation raises questions about the dynamics within the industry. As we've seen today, the realm of support for Diddy is multifaceted, touching on themes of loyalty, impact, and the intersection of celebrity and justice. This story isn't just about the allegations themselves, but about the community's response to one of its most prominent figures. Thank you for joining us on The Realm. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more in-depth analysis and exclusive content. Keep questioning, keep watching, and see you next time.